Hi, it's me again with Crowd Roll Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this graphic. And their main question was, how did they get the white lines and the black lines even amount? Well, if I was going to do this, I wouldn't even put in white lines. I would just put in the black lines. So what you need to do when you want to evenly, or what I want to do when I do evenly spacing, I'm going to get my two-point line and I'm going to draw a line. But I'm going to change. I normally go with points, but I've changed it to inches. Okay? And then I'm going to, doesn't really matter what I do on this, I just change it to inches. And I'm going to call this line, I'm going to, you have to select that line and then make it, I'm going to make it a half inch. Okay? We need to probably make it a little bit longer. Now, to make them equal, we want to change our nudge factor to one inch. So control D and make a duplicate. And now the space between the lines and the negative space is the same amount. Control G to group them. I'm going to go ahead and hit P, put them in the center of the page. And then I'm going to change my nudge factor like to, uh, well, that's 20 inches big. Let's make it a 22 inches. And I'm going to take a common shape and go to a heart. And I'm going to hold down the control button and make a heart. I'm going to hit P. Now, I'm going to select it all. And I'm going to go right here to intersect. And it intersected it. Where did it go? You know what? That's not the best. Uh, that's one thing I like about the intersect tool. You still got the image. So we could bring that down a little bit. So we have some black up top. Let's just get rid of that. Let's select it all. Because if you power clip that, it's gone and you have to kind of back up. I'm still not really excited about that, but that's fine. Now we're going to take our heart, move it down, and I'm going to fill it in with white. And then I'm going to move it back and over. And I'm going to go up to object, order, back a page. And now, I don't like that at all. Oh, so here's what I did wrong. And I'm going to leave this up here for an example, because that's a line. I'm going to start all over with this. And I'm going to draw a two-point line. And I'm going to make it that half inch. I'm going to set my nudge factor back on one inch. But before I duplicate this, I'm going to go to object and convert the outline to an object. Control D and make a duplicate. This time it should work. Now you still have to group it together and then get your heart and hit P. I'm almost glad that happened. Select it all and go up to intersect. Watch the difference in the lines. They're more, they're all within inside the line because I made them objects. Now I did not set my nudge factor high enough, so I'm gonna change my nudge factor now to, well, 30 inches. And I'm gonna intersect again and I'm going to go move it over. But then I'm going to take my heart, move it down and turn it into white. Move it back up and over. See, I didn't have to put it in white lines because it's going to show through. Now, I don't know if they need that color. That's not a Corel color. But we'll get it pretty close. And you could take away the outline now if you wanted to. Let's just use red. Go up to object, order, back a page. Now our white and black are equal. Much like that. Now, if by chance they wanted that color, which I doubt, but maybe so, you could take the Smart Fill tool because we got an all open area. Grab the eyedropper tool, 
take a sample of that color and put it there. And now you got the same color. I like the original red better. But anyway, that's a, I'm glad that almost happened because you've got to turn it in to get good crisp lines uh, around the item. You've got to turn them into an object. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.